Uh, I'm going to run the um, default script first. Um, I've already checked it, so it um, should be pretty close. Let's try and get in focus. So, I'm using a um, 0.1 feeder gate um, for the checks. Um, so, slide it under that. Okay. That's a little bit of friction. It's just, just touching. Let's get to the next point. Okay. Let's try over here. Okay. Go through it again. Just got a little bit of friction, so I can still slide it and uh, without another slide in, I've got a bit of friction. As you can see, I'm just doing the left hand, the left head. That's gone nice. Fine when you're doing this, just make sure you actually remove your hand completely from the knot because you'd be surprised how much uh, pressure you can, or how much you can just uh, change. Okay, so that's just catching. Let's Since I've had this machine, I've never been able to get the paper or the free gauge under the centre at this point. As you can see, it's um, just not going to have it. Oops. Okay, so um, you can see that can't get it. Uh, these heads are pretty, the actual muscles are pretty close to perfectly aligned um, in relation to the um, aluminium block at the top here. Um, neither of them can get through. Um, I, I could if I forced it. So I think it's just off touching the... Um, it might even be touching if I'm honest. If I push hard I can get it through. So that tells me that it's the, the bulk plate's raised um, in the top. So. Um, 
that's the first um, lot of leveling I'm doing. I'm just going to go back to home. Um, so there's actually quite a lot of porosity on the plate, um, and I know. Um, let me just move this one on the tripod quickly. Okay. Try and, I'll try and get some decent photographs of the porosity for you. Um, oops. I'm manual focus at the moment. So it's particularly bad on the sort of left hand uh, back corner. Not so bad elsewhere. It's there, it's underneath the surface. Um, and I can't really tell whether the actual book plate's been machined. What well, I can notice in some areas, like over here, I'm going to try and get that focus for you. You can actually feel a um, ridge. Yeah, you can actually feel the ridge on the surface. Um, what I've done is I've, I've gridded up the um, belt plate um, in 25mm um, into a 25mm grid, and I'm going to use a dial gauge um, and take measurements at those on those points in the grid. And hopefully um, see exactly how far or how well the um, build plate is out. So um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the uh, print heads and the stepper motors off the um, carriage of the rails um, and that will hopefully help reduce the variance um, of the um, weight of the heads on the rails in relation to changing the distance of the build plate. So um, I'll be back in a sec once I've removed the heads. Okay, so I've um, removed the um, step motors and of the um, carriage, and I've also removed the um, extruders. This is to reduce the weight um, on the runners, um, and I'll try and keep the um, carriage on the left-hand side uh, during the process. Um, as I said previously, I've marked up with a soft pencil on the build plate um, intersections um, spaced at about 25 um, mil. Um, and I'll spread those out. Um, so I'm going to do a three-point setup with the um, dial gauge now. Um, the back centre over here, um, front right over here, and then as far as I can go across on this side uh, for the front left. So I'll level the build plate um, to zero on those three points, okay, and then. Um, We'll um, do the intersection measures measurements. So uh, hopefully it's all still remembered where it was. So I'll drop bring this across here just to show you how it uh, looks. So we zero at that point, okay, on the bill plate uh, across to this side. Um, near enough. So it's within point uh, oh one um, on this side as well. Just push the carriage to the back. Oops. Um. Okay, bring it across to the centre. Okay, so you can see over here again, once again, um, we're on zero. To show the repeatability of the gauge, it's a Clark's gauge um, that we use. Um, it's not the cheapest, but it's not, not the most expensive. Um, so, got good repeatability um, on set up okay so I'm happy with that so I'm just going to go through and mark uh, mark off these stations so I'm um, going to start at the front and work our way back pull that all the way across there okay bring it across to the very end okay I'm just going to go on the don't click on the intersection mark we'll start start cutting off the measurements so um, on the edge there we're looking at um, uh, so look, um, 0.3 plus 0.3 plus 0.3, sorry. Um,
so minus point two. Minus point um, minus point two five minus point two five yeah and yeah, right in the corner minus two point six so minus point two six sorry so I think um, that's all the measurements done um, so what I'll do now is I'll chart that out onto a drawing. And um, on the computer, and uh, oh, I'm pretty convinced now that uh, the bed's out. Um, but I know Maker Maker what say that um, the process doesn't cause any problems with the build. Um, it just seems a bit strange that with all the majority of the big porosity years, the build plates worse in those in those places. And although I'm no expert, I expect that sort of deviation increases as the um, the bill plate heats up. Um, to me, it only makes sense it would do, um, as the material isn't the same on this side as it is on that side. So, um, but like I say, I'm no expert. Okay, um, so what I'll do is I'll draw this all up and um, publish the um, results on the computer. Okay.